the contents. So what shall we learn today? We'll be learning about word problems based on quadratic equations, examples and I'll be giving you some questions where you can solve and ask your problems through the comment sections of this particular channel. Alright, so let's start with the first question. The question is product of digits of a two digit number is 21. If we add 36 to the number, the new number obtained is number formed by interchange of the digits and find the number. Alright, this is the question. So, first of all, we have to understand the first part of the sentence. Make sure about this thing that the word problems are quite easier to understand and to solve provided you need to understand each and every meaning of the given words or the sentences that becomes easier for you right so if you go through the question the first part of the sentence that says product of digits of two digit number all right so let's talk about let's take two digit number like a and b all right these are two digit number so if i multiply a into b the result is given as 21 so if you take as it is a quadratic equations okay and we are talking about only single variable so we'll be taking only one variable here so if you take the first number as x the second number will be 21 by x so if you take the first number as x okay the second number will be 21 by x so that is the first part of the sentence okay uh, that what we have concluded from the first part of the sentence now if we add 36 to the number a new number obtained is a number found by interchange of the digits let's uh, let us look at uh, the solutions here so let the digit let the digit be x as i have already discussed and then the digit at unit place is 21 by x the number is 10x plus 21 by x okay so they were talking about some kind of two digits number like suppose i have got the number as 46 okay how do we expand it so we expansion of this particular number is 40 plus x right so 4 is at tens place and 6 is at unit place similarly if you take the number at tens place be x so automatically the digit will be 10x okay and the unit place is 21 by x so 6 into 1 so 40 into 10 40 into 10 and plus 6 into 1 this way we write the expansion of 46 similarly the number declared at the tens place be x and the unit place be 21 by x so required number will be 10x plus 21 by x now the second part of the question was if we add 20, 36 to the number then its digits are interchanged so let's see here interchanging the digits means what what do you mean by interchanging the digits suppose if I have a number like uh, a a and B are two numbers okay suppose and we write the number like this a B so the required number will be 10 a plus B. clear so if we interchange it what does the meaning uh, what is the meaning of interchange interchange means suppose this is b a the places are interchanged so this number will be 10 b plus a okay so this way we have to go through look at the question uh, the solution here if we add 36 to the number then its digits are interchanged so 10 x plus 21 by x plus 36 so 36 is added to the given number and the new number what we get is the interchanged one so 10 21 by x so 21 by x was at a unit place so it becomes 10 uh, uh, it will be at tens place so 10 21 by x plus x which was at uh, the tens place earlier right and then solving uh, and then uh, solving it usually uh, and uh, applying the linear equations rule here so here is 10 x square plus 21 plus 36 x is equals to 210 that is 210 plus x square and uh, after that uh, you take uh, all the uh, like terms together like 10x square and here is x square 
and here is 10x square so taken together will be 9x square then 36x minus 1.189 is equals to 0 right and then taking the common from here in this particular equation what we have got here quadratic equation uh, the power is 2 the highest power is 2 so it becomes the quadratic polynomial right so we take the 9 common from here okay the moment you take 9 common so what will be left behind it will be x square plus 4x minus 21 all right so 9 will go to the right part divided by 0 it becomes 0 so that's why it is given the next sentence as a next equation as this x square plus 4x minus 21 equals to 0 and then splitting the mill term as we have discussed already in the factorization in my previous video I have discussed this uh, the steps to solve the given equation or find the solution of the equation using factorization method so this is the way we have to proceed and uh, hence we get the answer from there so as the number it's a two digit number so number will not be taken as negative so it is taken as positive that x equals to 3 so 21 by x that is 21 by 3 becomes 7 so number will be at what number will be 37 right so you can uh, get the value from uh, like this also like you got x as tens digits so 3 into 10 plus at the unit place which is at 21 by x that is 7 7 into 1 so you get 30 plus 7 which is 37 the answer given here right I hope you have understood this particular questions so questions which are of this type you can solve it easier make sure that you understand each and every line and try to get some kind of you know uh, equations uh, from that particular sentences okay so we'll move to the next part of the question uh, next question I mean that is example number two area of a rectangle is 21 meter square and if the perimeter of the rectangle is 20 meter find the length and breadth of the rectangle okay quite easier question here first of all to understand this question we need to understand uh, uh, the formula based on this particular figure the figure is rectangular okay it's a rectangular figure where the longest side is length length is greater than the breadth so it is the breadth here length and breadth so area is given by length into breadth right and perimeter is given by twice of length plus the breadth all right so moving to the question now area of rectangle is given as 21 meter square all right so first of all we have to declare the variable for the length as well as for the breadth and accordingly we have to solve the question let's let us look uh, into the solutions now see if you look into the figure here 21 by x and x okay so how come we have got breadth as 21 by x and the length as x so as it is one variable question so we have to take the length as x okay so length into breadth becomes the area which is suppose x into breadth is equals to the area is given as 21 right so breadth will become 21 by x okay so this is how do we do it so breadth and length so length is already taken as x and breadth becomes 21 by x so this way we got the value of length and breadth now next part of the question was if the perimeter of the rectangle is 20 meter okay so let's see here the perimeter the perimeter of rectangle is twice of length plus breadth so we put the values what we have got all right in the previous slide that was the, for the length and breadth so twice of length and breadth right so length was taken as x and breadth was as 21 by x and similarly we do the calculations and uh, take the values that x plus 21 by x first of all we'll solve as per the board must rule so that becomes x square plus 21 by x right and we take this x to the right part that becomes 21 by x 20 by x not 21 by x so this is here we have got 20 by x 20 x is equals to 2x square plus 42 and then similarly we solve the way we have solved uh, discussed in the previous uh, videos of uh, which videos which was uploaded on YouTube it is still there you can just go through it if you have any doubts regarding how to solve 
the equations using factorization method so this is how we have got it here again they have taken 2 as common okay so 2 will take common so x square minus 10x plus 21 equals to 0 because 2 will go to the right part 0 divided by 2 becomes 0 only right so this is how do we uh, how we have a split the middle term that is minus 10x as what 7 and 3 all right so I'll just uh, give you the next step of this particular equation that becomes x square this is 21 so minus 7x minus 3x plus 21 equals to 0 this is the uh, next step of this and then we take we make the groups on I mean the pairs and then we take the common accordingly so from here if you take x common that becomes x minus 7 so x common that becomes x minus 7 right so that's why 1 x minus 7 is given here right so from the next if you take minus 3 common you get x minus 7 only right so that becomes x minus 3 and x minus 7 so x equals to 7 x equals to 3 so x has to be greater here so x equals to 7 will take and breath has 21 by x so accordingly we will take as 21 by x that is 21 by 7 which is equals to 3 so this is how we have got the values of length and breadth moving to the next question now the sum of a non-zero number and its reciprocal is 41 by 20 find the number non-zero means what the meaning of non-zero is which is not zero all right apart from zero you can take other numbers like 1 2 3 all right so this is the way we take it so the two numbers the sum of a number and its reciprocal suppose if we declare x as a number what is the reciprocal of x that becomes 1 by x so if we add these two numbers like 1 by x which is given as 41 by 20 41 by 20 look into the solution now see just go through the contents if you want to take the screenshots or if you want to pause the video you can just uh, understand the each and every steps clearly and properly and then get the values of the given declared variable see your x 1 by x and then this is what we have got from the question multiplying the equations by 20 x we get is it required it is not required okay no need to multiply by 20x uh, actually when we solve it you get 20 as a denominator here that's why they have multiplied by 20x to the uh, to both and um, uh, to the left hand side okay so you get like x square plus 1 by uh, plus 1 by x is equals to 11 uh, 41 by 20 okay so multiply this particular number with this like cross multiplication we have to do here and we get this particular number and then we have to again split the middle term that is 41x needs to be splitted so you get uh, 25x minus 16x minus 25x and minus 16x will give you 41x all right and if you multiply these two numbers together 25 into 16 what you get is 20 into 20 all right that becomes 400 and then again as usual the same process right you get the value as required here next question in a right angle triangle one of the sides forming the right angle is 4 cm more than twice the length of the other side if the area of the triangle is 120 cm square find the perimeter of the triangle quite easier right so first of all the question is regarding right angle triangle okay so we need to draw the right angle triangle first of all okay and right whatever things which is given here so right angle triangle one of the sides forming the right angle is four centimeter more than twice the length of other side so they have not uh, discussed or uh, like you know uh, given any contents regarding the third side which is the longest side of the triangle which is hypotenuse i'm talking about ac here ac is hypotenuse this one this side is hypotenuse right this is hypotenuse so uh, we'll take we have to declare a variable for any one side of the triangle so we'll take any one side of the triangle as x which is already taken here as x and it is given that four centimeter more than right so twice 
the length of other sides. So twice of this side BC will be 2x and 4 cm more becomes 2x plus 4, right? And then we have to find the next side that is AC, we have to find it out. So before going with uh, finding AC, uh, let's understand because why, why we need to find AC to get the perimeter of this triangle. So the next part of this question was if the area of the triangle is 120 centimeter square. So what is the area of the triangle? right angle triangle that is half into base into altitude that is half into base into height as we say in commonly so half base into height is equals to half bc into ab so bc is taken as base and ab is taken as height you can take vice versa also that doesn't uh, uh, that uh, will not create any problem that results the same right so 120 becomes 120 is equals to half into base that is x and the height is 2x plus 4 i'm talking about this step and then calculating you get the value of x as x equals to 10 x equals to minus 12 right so the measurement whatever the measurement we have got for the base and the altitude we have got two solutions here one is 10 another is minus 12 so minus negative uh, the measurement cannot be negative here so we have to take positive number that is x equals to 10 so bc becomes 10 that is here this becomes 10 x becomes 10 and if we Put the value of x as 10 becomes 10 to the 20 plus 4 is 24 here 24 centimeter as length now next is to finding the perimeter so you got the values as 10 and 24 so we need to find the value of ac to get the perimeter of this triangle for that we have to use a theorem that is called as pythagoras theorem all right so we have to use pythagoras theorem here Pythagoras theorem says that uh, the square of suppose that AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square right so AC is equals to a square root of what is given here AB square plus BC square we have got the value of AB and BC in the previous section that is here here AB and BC we have got already that is 10 centimeter and 24 centimeter so we'll write we'll put the values of ab as 24 centimeter and bc as 10 and taking the square you get 576 and 100 so that becomes 676 the square root of 676 will uh, give you 26 centimeter right so perimeter is sum of all the boundaries so ab plus bc plus ac that is 24 plus 10 plus 26 that becomes 60 centimeter i hope you, uh, the doubts are cleared here going to the next question now the sum of the ages of father and son at present is 110 10 years ago the product of their ages was 1856 what is the age of the father and son now is means they're talking about the present age okay here is means present age so uh, to understand the questions we need to understand the grammar part also okay whether the question is asked in present past okay or in the coming future so we need to understand each and every content clearly to understand the question and get the equation out of it <coughs> let's go to the solution here so as I said already uh, earlier that uh, what is the age they are talking about right so age is uh, let the present age of the son be x and uh, that of the father will be 110 minus x all right so so first of all we have to declare uh, the present age of the son and then as per the question the sum of the ages of father and son at present is 110 okay so the father age will be automatically 110 minus x so because the father and son right here if you see father and son is 110 so if you have declared the age of son as x so father will be 110 minus x because it will go to the right hand side and you get the equation like this and 10 years ago the age of the sun was x minus 10 all right so 
10 years ago the age of the son was x minus 10 and the age of the father was what so age of the son 10 years ago okay so obviously it is talking about the past so we have to go back okay suppose your present age is 15 years okay five years ago you will be minus five that becomes 10 years right similarly here as well so the sun was sun is x years now so before 10 years will be 10 x minus 10 okay and father will be 110 minus x minus 10 so it is given here solved as 100 minus x clear so it is given that the product of their ages was 1856 so this is son and this one is father both product is 1856 clear and then solving okay use a distributive law of multiplication over subtraction here for x multiplied with all 100 minus x you get here this value okay and then then solving taking the like terms together and then solving each and every term uh, individually you will get x square minus 110 x plus 2856 equals to 0 and then splitting the middle term that is factorization method minus 110 to be split it to 68x minus 42x and then you get the values accordingly right so x equals to 68 and x equals to 42 so what could be the age of father and son here if the age of the son is 68 years now what was the age of the father 110 minus 68 which is impossible right if you take the value of x as 68 the father's age will be huh? fathers will be younger than the son how is it possible right it is not possible so we have to take the other value that is x equals to 42 in that case the father will be 68 years next question that is based on the upstream and downstream okay speed of the boat and upstream and downstream the question is the speed of a motor boat in a still water is 25 km per hour in a river it goes 60 km downstream and comes back the same distance upstream in 5 hours find the speed of the current the speed of the current of the river is less than the speed of the motor boat in a still water it is given already okay however make sure that in your board questions this kind of hints are not given okay this will not be given in your board questions only simply the question we have to understand and infer from there itself all right so let's go to the solution now i hope you understood the question the speed of the motor boat in a still water still water means the water is still it's not moving okay 25 km per hour in in a river it goes 60 km downstream going down and comes back the same distance means the distance will be same here upstream in 5 hours find the speed of the current look at the solution now the speed let the speed of the current of the river be x km per hour going downstream means we have to add the speeds here okay so 25 plus x current the variable of the speed for the speed for current is already declared here as x kilometer per hour and however for the boat it is already given so here we have to combinedly taken uh, together for boat as well as the current for the downstream is 25 plus x and upstream is always subtraction like right? difference of these speeds so 25 minus x kilometer per hour time taken for going 60 kilometer downstream will be what is the value like what formula we have to use here distance is equals to a speed by time right is it is it right i think it's not all right so what is distance is equals to what do you mean by speed a speed is distance traveled per unit time so s is equals to d by t so distance will be equals to s into t right 
so here the time is taken so time is equals to what distance by speed so here distance is 60 km and speed is already taken here as 25 plus x so 25 plus x time taken for coming 60 km upstream so the distance is uh, the question already said that the distance is same here so we'll take the same distance as 60 km and for the speed as 25 minus x as it is going it is uh, going upstream now total time taken is 5 I was right so total time means what addition of these two together so you add these two together and you get as equal to 5 and then solving so solving means what like if you solve these two equations what do you get here as 25 plus x and 25 minus x as taken to, uh, taken together as LCM and then we solve like this okay you get the values like this and then multiplying using the laws what we have learned earlier in our previous classes and then we get this value 600 equals to 625 minus x square where x square is equals to 25 and x equals to a square root of 25 which gives you 5 so the speed of the current of the river is 5 km as we have already declared as x km per hour whose value is 5 km per hour so here is uh, some sample questions students you can uh, solve these questions and uh, send it to me on my whatsapp number or you can uh, you can if you if you get any kind of problems then you can always uh, give your uh, problems in the comment sections or on my whatsapp number which i have already shown in the start of this session all right that's all uh, from today's session thank you very much